All right, guys, we are back. We just finished this really creepy part that doesn't make much sense, but we finished it. Now we... Hey, I got a piece of the orb. Sweet. All right, in the last episode, we ended up spinning the torturer's wheel around. And now, honestly, I am not 100% sure as to what we need to do. We're gonna go this way. Because we did not go this way last time. And there is that creepy as hell monster. Oh crap, I think he's getting close. Fuck! Oh no! I am in between a rock and a hard place, dude. Oh god. Oh damn. I think he's getting closer. I think... Oh, he left. Okay, he left. Good. Good, good, good. I'm really, I'm really afraid to go this way. All right, we're gonna go over here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 he saw me. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not looking, I'm not looking behind me, man. Oh, damn. Okay, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay. I've got a door, and I will leave. How the hell can you call this place a choir, man? I don't know if there is anything over here. If there is not. Oh, shh, did I just see him? No, I didn't. Okay. Indeed, we did not go this way. And there is indeed another door. Alright, this is the final place in the choir. Which, let me tell you, I am very happy about that. This place is creepy as hell, man. OH MY GOD! <gasps> okay. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A my myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. Aw, oh, gross, man. Yeah, we're gonna close that. <laughs> Hey, 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 what's this? Yum. I hope I didn't miss another piece. That would be very sad if I missed one. Alright, let's see. There is this place over here. Got some opium. Give me my damn opium! Thank you. All right, looks like we have fully checked out the choir and we can leave this godforsaken place, thank God. All right. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Where's the door? Oh, 
Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan replied on one's skills to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Must have a lot of words in that, in that one. <laughs> Alright, we're out of that creepy place. Hopefully, the rest of the places aren't as creepy. I have a feeling, though... Hello to you, too. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus Rose Oil. What is that? Some kind of intense pain-inducing oil? No, I don't, I don't know. Alright, we have another door that we can go through. Maybe Agrippa uh, wants to say, hey! Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. That there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic by a disguise. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore, you won't be able to save it. Uh all right, well we need one more thing for that tonic. I I do believe that we only need one more thing. So we got the mucus. We got the weird petal thingamajig. Now we can go to the transept. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. I do agree. I do agree. Waiting for the loaded screen. Oh god. Was not expecting this room to look like this. Hello, Satan. Alright, so I'm just thinking, if a monster comes out, I'm screwed. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. You're nice. We're gonna go up the spiral. My friend has a spiral staircase in his house. I'm always so jealous of that. I'm like, dude, I wish I had one of those. And he's like, ah, screw you. Jesus, man. Are those butt wings? I'm just gonna say those are butt wings. Okay, we got the tinderbox. Ring. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, preceded by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear, simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitea and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink, and try again later. Oh ho ho, sneaking the name of the game in there, are we? Get out of my way. Oh sweet, another. I love these. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. 
There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. So deep! You're so dark! And you're kind of a creep. We're gonna go back down the spiral staircase. Unexpected singing for the win. We're gonna go over here to demonic satanic circle. No, oh god. Hello, rat. Holy crap, a live rat? I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. I am entranced. We're gonna light this so I can turn that off. And oh god. Cool, I got another piece of the orb. Anything over here? Uh, all right, let's let's do this, yo. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Okay. I think our friend Daniel is going insane. We're gonna... Oh god. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Okay, Daniel, we get it. You're insane now. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Ah. <coughs> yeah, I think I can keep my lamp on. It's fine. Oh, man. This makes the game a little bit creepier. <laughs> Holy God. All right, I think Daniel's tripping balls right now, man. <laughs> oh wait, is insanity back? Ah, oh, cool, your sanity's back, sweet. This sound is creeping me out, man. Oh my God. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Oh, that's gross. Oh, hello! Oh, dude, that's gross, man. One, two, three, four. All right, we need two more. I hope I didn't miss one of these orbs. I feel like I did back in the choir main hall, but I'm not sure if I did. It's not that big of a deal if I did. I'll just go back and grab it. All right, we've got one more door left, and I do think that we're going to save that for the next episode. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I thought I heard something behind. Oh, hey, look, a dead man in a cage. Can I poke him? I cannot. All right, thank you guys. I will see you on the next episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord.